The next programme in this series on special needs in education will be shown on Saturday, the 23rd of March. In ten minutes, we have our next scheduled university programme for the Introduction to Pure Mathematics course. First on BBC One, the new summary with Laurie Mayer. Good morning. This is BBC Breakfast News. The headlines at 7 o'clock on Saturday, February the 16th. Well, now on BBC One, anything can happen in the next two hours. As the lights are flashing, as we cross over to Studio 7, where Philip and Sarah are going live. Good morning. In actual fact, anything can happen over the next three hours. And uh, I'd like to introduce you to our very, very special guest now. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Going Live. It gives me tremendous pleasure and gives one a tremendous thrill to officially open the new BBC One, that is one, not one, one symbol. Philip, the scissors, please. <laughs> Yes, of course. Did you know that the, the system that, uh, that generated the first ever BBC Globe was called a Noddy? And the one that we're just about to get rid of is called Cow, Computer Originated World. And this, one, come, this one, this new one, comes off a laser disc. Isn't it very, very beautiful? Mom, the golden scissors. Thank you so much, Philip. I declare... Is it called Cow, did you say? No, the old one was oh. Cow, Mom. I declare the new symbol, well and truly, open. Thank you so is. much. Looking quite spectacular, Mom, and spinning for all eternity. The Thank good old you. BBC. Here's what's on the programme this morning. In a couple of minutes, Grandstand features coverage of today's rugby union matches, England v Scotland at Twickenham and Wales v Ireland at Cardiff. And as a reminder that the afternoon film at 3.25 on BBC Two is Johnny Angel, a suspense thriller starring George Raft and Claire Trevor, telling the story of a tough sea captain who sets out to avenge his father's murder. Now on BBC One, the weekend weather prospects with Bernard Davey. Good afternoon, the thaw on the fine weather. This is BBC One. We're now at 12.15. We join Desmond Lynham for an afternoon of sport in Grandstand. Tonight on One. Just the sort of work you do, Mr. Bergeret. Oh, sure. With maximum tact and discretion, of course. If he gets too close, something should be done. Oh, he's in trouble, I know. I've hit the jackpot. Get out of there. Now, don't argue. Get yourself out. A man like Bergerac, you either leave strictly alone or... Or what? Or you kill him. Bergerac, tonight, 7.40 on one. This is BBC One. Now we join Martin Lewis for the latest news. It's ten past five. Now on BBC One, in place of our published programme at this time, stay tuned, we have a Tom and Jerry double bill, starting with Penthouse Mouse. On Tuesday, a Holiday 91 special, Greece. Since I saw Shirley Valentine, I figured, 
I'm going to find me a nice, handsome prince. <laughs> the fairy tale becomes a classical adventure as Holiday 91 enters the Corinth Canal to Olympia and Delphi. And island hopping, picture postcard Greece, Eos and the volcanic island of Santorini. Or a treat to the traditional villages in the Pilion. Holiday 91 on Tuesday at 7 o'clock on BBC One. And now on BBC One, a dream to hit the airwaves and many others besides come true in Jim will fix it. And a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to some more super Jim will fix it. And over on BBC Two, in 10 minutes, Special Agent Dale Cooper gets ever closer to discovering who killed Laura Palmer. But his investigations aren't helped one bit by the arrival of his supervisor in Twin Peaks. Here on One, at a quarter past midnight, our film is a light-hearted western starring Yul Brynner as Catlow, a maverick cowboy, and Richard Crenner and Leonard Nimoy as two men sent out to stop his rustling. Before that, on BBC One, it's FA Cup football action in Match of the Day. And now on BBC One, central heating and nut cutlets combine to make life unbearable for the Doctor's Latimer in Don't Wait Up. 